The freaking moron. How y'all doing today? My name is Ryan and this is Down to Business Reviews. This week for Movie Club we got to watch The Emperor's New Groove, directed by Mark Dindall and starring David Spade, John Goodman, Eartha Kitt, and Patrick Warburton. In The Emperor's New Groove, a young Incan emperor named Cusco is transformed into a llama by his vengeful ex-advisor named Yzma. To regain his throne and his humanity, Cusco needs the help of Pacha, a village leader and llama herder. The Emperor's New Groove is perhaps Disney's most light-hearted feature film. Compared to something like The Lion King, that movie had comedic elements, yes, but it was much more grand in feel and epic in scale. It was a sweeping story that took place over large distances and spans of time. This film is almost the exact opposite approach. And you know what? There's a reason for that. The funny thing is that The Emperor's New Groove was actually Disney's plan B for this feature. Since 1994, a film called Kingdom of the Sun had been in production, with Roger Allers at the helm, fresh off of his success with, wouldn't you know it, The Lion King. The movie was planned on being another epic Disney film, complete with soundtrack by Sting. But because of poor screen testings and merchandising deadlines with, believe it or not, Coca-Cola and McDonald's, that version of the film was scrapped. Roger Allers quit the film, and Mark Dindall was tasked with saving the feature, which included completely overhauling the film into the wacky adventure that you know today. So it turns out you actually have Coke and Happy Meals to thank for one of the silliest Disney films ever made. I've been a fan of this film since it came out in 2000, and I think it's one of the most underrated Disney films. That brings us to my likes and gripes with The Emperor's New Groove. Starting with my likes. The sense of humor in this film is unlike almost any other Disney film ever made. It's very cartoony and sarcastic. I mean, duh, it's starring David Spade. Dindal also directed the 1997 film Cats Don't Dance, which, if you've ever seen it, also has a very similar wackiness to it. Everyone might say this, but I think the voice acting in this film is perfect, but especially David Spade as Cusco and Patrick Warburton as Kronk, Yzma's beefcake henchman. I know people who love this film solely for Kronk, and he steals the show. The art style in this film is very bold. I really like Mesoamerican-inspired artwork. It's very stylized and colorful. It just makes for a really great-looking film. There's also a sequence near the end of the movie where characters are transforming into all kinds of different animals, and it's just a lot of fun. It's what animation was meant for. My gripes with this movie. I'm actually having a hard time coming up with many, so... I'm going to take a shot, but I have to really kind of stretch for it. John Goodman plays a character named Pacha, and I like his character, but it's his kids in the movie that can be a little annoying. Except for I will always laugh at the little tooth thing. <laughs> Another thing is that there are plot holes in this film that are the size of trucks, but the funny thing is that the characters actually point them out, and will even break the fourth wall to acknowledge them. It might be an homage to the troubled and chaotic process that went into making this film. Which, when you think about it that way, is actually kind of cool. Also, there's only one song in the film, and it's kind of lame. But it's right near the beginning, and it kind of helps establish the character of Cusco. But, I mean, it's at the beginning, and it's over quick, so whatever. I'm sorry! The Emperor's New Groove may not be the best Disney film ever made, but it might just be one of the funniest. If you like goofy cartoons and sarcastic wit like I do, you'll probably love this film. The Emperor's New Groove gets an A. That's all for this week, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked anything I was rambling on about, please leave a comment down below, like and subscribe, uh, share it if you really liked it. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and check out my Facebook page. And if you didn't know, I do these reviews for SourceFed Nerds Movie Club, which airs every Saturday. So be sure to check that out and join us if you want to. It's a lot of fun. Use the hashtag SFMC, SourceFed Movie Club, and they'll find you. That said, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good one.